Hey there guys, welcome back to another video. Today I have just finished installing Resolve, as you can see right here on my system. And when we click it, it's not going to start up. It's just going to sit there and do its little thoroughly thing until it decides that it's no longer relevant and then stop working in the background. Why? Because it carries outdated libs. So, um, libraries. So most of the time, libraries in Linux get updated and the ones that are shipped with Resolve are no longer necessary and they need to be removed. Yes, removed. So we head over to opt, we go into Resolve and we head into libs, which is over here. Then we need to re remove a certain amount of libraries so that we can make it work again. So we're going to head down to this line right here and we're just going to select these ones like this all the way until we get over to no actually I think these are all of them. Yes they are. Ah they've added new weird libraries. Huh. Just making sure that I don't get rid of the wrong ones. Delete. And then, when we go to open up Resolve again, it opens. And it's going to do this, because of course it is. It always does this. It's annoying. Uh, and to get rid of that, I usually have to go into here and find Resolve, where the hell it went. Hey, where are you? Ah, kill it. And just agree to killing it. Try that again. Where is the kill window? Eh. Got rid of it. Okay. So now it should open up normally and just function without issue. Uh, unless you're on Wayland and then you're going to just have weird visual issues because, well, I guess it doesn't work on Wayland too well. It does work. It just doesn't work too well. I'll show you that in a second. Alright, so I had to like compile a whole bunch of AI stuff because I'm on a 4070 and it treats NVIDIA differently. So we're going to open this up and now you see the issue with Wayland. Yeah, the menus are up here. Eh, trying to get to everything. Uh, if I open up a window, it stabilizes temporarily. But then again, it's just the menu that it does that. It's, it's, it's weird the way that it handles things. There we go. I have that set. Media storage, correct. Direct IO because I am on NVMe. And yeah, there we go. Uh, everything is set up and ready to go. I don't know why. It's just that corner. Actually, I guess it's that corner too. Is it this corner? It's all corners. I don't get why it does it. I'm not sure. I don't, I don't really understand, but it's kind of annoying. I have... Attempted to report it, but I doubt they're really going to care about Linux users. They have this thing against Linux users. I would like to run this in just X11 on Wayland. I'm not really sure how to do that. I've been looking forward to it, but if you guys know how to run this in just X11 on Wayland, uh, let me know in the comments below. Anyway, I hope this guy, I hope this helps you guys. Uh, if it did, uh, leave a like, you know, comment, subscribe, do all that cool stuff, and I will see you guys next time. Bye bye.